Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium, once again. Um, series of events coming up you might be interested in. August the 15th, this is the 12th of August, and um, Sunday, this Sunday we're having a free healing um, thing at 2 o'clock, Central Standard Time USA, on the YouTube side. And uh, the YouTube side is Gary Champion Psychic Medium. You go there and subscribe. And if you're in the healing room, if you're in the chat room, we'll pick somebody. And uh, all the other healers that are in the chat room, as well as myself, will send our energy to that person. We've had some pretty remarkable things happen, as well as we just all feel good. So that's coming up. August 22nd, free readings. That's crazy. It's always in there somewhere. Where's my man? <laughs> but some really good questions come through there. And again, uh, that's the um, 22nd, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time, USA. August the 29th, self-healing class again. Uh, register for that on my website, www.garychampion.com. There's a link below here. Um, that goes to the website and you can register for the class. September 15th, a brand new class, which I've avoided having anything to do with forever, for decades. And uh, I was mentioning it to my wife yesterday because it sort of came up. Uh, I don't know why, but you know, I hear things all day long. And I run them by her and I said, uh, blah, blah, blah. And she said, nah, that's not the sort of class you want to teach. Until I came up with a proper title. And the top proper title is Mediumship Mentoring. And she said, okay, that's a class you can teach. So uh, that's the name of the class, Mediumship Mentoring. Um, if you're on the road to becoming a psychic medium and you're stuck, or maybe you have answers that we don't have, or you have, it's an interactive. So you can ask questions, I'll answer them and the questions may have nothing to do with what's actually stopping you from moving forward as a psychic medium. That's that's where I come in. I can read you and tell you what what what's how the hold up is and how to work on it. And everybody else will have comments and questions and oh, I'm doing something similar. This is this works for me. Do you want to you know, so it's a, as well as a, um, helping people become better mediums, it's about sharing ideas and uh, experiences so it's interactive um, anything can happen in interactive class I used to teach an interactive class at every fair I did every psychic fair I did people would sit there not say anything and then something would be for them and I'd point at them and say something oh I just came in to listen I'm not here that's not this class. This class is interactive. If you're in the class, be prepared that I'll say something or somebody else might read you and give you something. Mediumship mentoring, because there's so many people on that path right now to becoming mediums. And um, be nice, maybe some of them want to know what they're doing right, maybe what they're doing wrong, how to correct what this is, how to, what it is actually. Just sometimes for me, um, Identifying what the problem is is the key to the problem. Just identifying that you have a problem and what it is. And then, okay, well, I can work on that. My guys give me stuff like that all the time. Uh, September 12th, I think it'll be um, change your programming, change your life again. And today's video is about wonderment. And... I'm sort of staying away from political stuff because I, I think everybody's doing that, but what a bunch of idiots we have here in Texas that want to outlaw mask mandates in schools. Declared it a law. Uh, you wrote in one of those executive orders. No one shall declare masks, have to wear them or anything. Oh, let's just kill our children. That's what that's saying. I don't care enough to get, that I, I don't mind if these children die. And all the big cities in Texas have rejected that law and put in their own mask mandates. Why? Because they do care about children. Who's getting sick from this Delta variant? Young people and the unvaccinated. Now, they're not telling them they have to get the ma vaccine. They're not telling them that. 
they're telling me you got to wear a mask because we don't want whatever you got for you to give it to someone else. Like I was talking the other day, my this new doctor that I met um, asked me why I was wearing a mask. I said, because you don't know where I've been. I'm wearing the mask to protect you from me. And she put a mask on. It didn't occur to her. How dare you tell me to wear a mask? I don't, I don't, we don't, we don't need no stinking mask. It's Texas. We don't have to do anything. Okay, die. I'll be finding another doctor. <laughs> anyway, she got the point. She put a mask on. This video is about wonderment, and now uh, everything to me seems to be a wonderment. Everything always has been. Because I'm from a different time. I'm from a long time ago, and I'm not really here. I'm a medium, so little things. I'm, it's Yeah, it's a wonderment that we have leaders that don't seem to know anything about anything. That's a wonderment. But I'm sitting out front, and I'm seeing the birds. You know, they fly down, they eat the insects, they get stronger, they build nests, they, they lay eggs, they hatch new birds. Uh, the frogs, the in insects get eaten by the frogs, frogs become fat, and Peanut the Wonder Dog likes to chase them around. He no longer picks them up because they exude this bad tasting stuff, so he mostly chases them now. He's, not picking any more up. Well, that's a wonderment. It was his first time to pick a frog up. And, it, it, you know, frogs would give off this white substance off of their, these two organs they have on their back. And uh, apparently it doesn't taste very well. And he's learned his first time. He tried it once and spit it out. I mean, really. <laughs> And then uh, a few nights later, he tried it again. Two, I, mean, I know he, he's not learning really quickly, but he does learn. Now he just chases them. The frogs don't run because they know he's not going to bite them. That's a wonderment. It's seeing a dog learn something that he didn't know before. He's a city dog. <laughs> he's not a country dog, or he'd know that. Uh, the cruelty that people have toward each other, it's a wonderment. How can you be that cruel? How can you be that mean to people who probably don't have a defense? And then people are loving and caring and giving and someone's in trouble and they show up and they help out and that's a wonderment. People's hearts are large and they give and they help and they're willing to do things for you. And yet the opposite is a wonderment. They're both wonderments. Uh, it defies explanation to some people. People reaching out to help, that I understand. But it's still a wonderment that people do it. In some areas of, the, of this country, somebody falls down the sidewalk having a heart attack, people steal your watch, your wallet, your shoes, and anything they can take, take off with. In other areas, uh, people come forward and protect, protect you, and get you an ambulance, and that's all a wonderment. Uh, was it about drugs? What's, they need money for drugs? They ever rob a dying man on the sidewalk? That's a wonderment. Callous disregard for life. Man's humanity and inhumanity to man. That's what this, that's, that's the definition of this. People can be uh, inhuman toward man and very human toward man. Man's humanity and inhumanity to other men. That's a good quote. I'm sure I didn't say it. I'm sure somebody else did. It's just coming out of me. Anyway, little things can be a wonderment. This alien I rescued at the mall last week. Uh, he had a snappy outfit on. I felt sorry for him. You see, he's only like less than a foot tall. No one's been feeding him, so I said he could live here. Everything's a wonderment. Everything is a wonderment. Why do we ceaselessly 
try to improve and make things better. There's that whole group of people that are intent on making everything better. That's a wonderment. Really, all they have to do is worry about themselves, yet they worry about everybody. And there's that small, crazy group over here that try to undermine every attempt to do something right. They have a right to their opinion, but when they start killing people, that they, they have no more rights, as far as I'm concerned. So, it's, it's greed. People are running for national office. They want to emulate Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a cruel human being that, that doesn't believe in masks, didn't believe in the vaccine, although he took it without telling anybody. Isn't that interesting? Defies nature, logic, defies logic. <clears throat> that you would get a following that they know if they say no mask mandates in the state of Texas, I'm going to I'm going to sign a law, which by the way has been rescinded by at least two judges that it's not it's not a real law, it's not constitutional and goes contrary to everything. They've been negated, or what do they call it? Uh, Excuse me. Judges have stricken them anyway. And and he knew that was going to happen. He passed a law saying, no mass mandates. I am the leader of this state, blah, blah, duly elected, blah, which he won't be elected again. But that's what's going to go down, knowing that the it was illegal to, to, to pass a law that actually can kill people. And uh, he knew that these judges wouldn't allow it to go in, but it makes him look good to the constituency of Donald Trump, which is who he's after. And they all kind of look the same to me. I mean, they have the slick back hundred dollar haircut and expensive suits. They roll their sleeves up and they point at things like they know something and they don't. They don't. If I can follow the leader and they're not good followers. Anyway, to something that wasn't going to end up being political, I guess it is. Don't be stupid. <laughs> Follow your instincts. We're human beings. We're, we're full of wonderment, too. Stop thinking so much about money or your place in history, because his place in history is written. I tried to kill the children of the people of Texas. We're on a wall. That's going to go. We won't be putting any statues up to him. He thinks he's going to run for national office, but he screwed that. Overplayed his hand. Thinks people of Texas didn't figure out that the reason he passed those laws was was to get money from the constituents of Donald Trump, and that money's pouring in, and he'll have money to run for office. Means he can run more ads, probably win. No, not if you're trying to kill our children. No, there's no place for you. Go back to the 12th century; they could use you there. Not today greatest asset of Texas is his children. Not oil or whatever they think it is. It's their children. They're the future of everything. Why do you want to kill my child? And uh, a lot of them are withholding their children from schools. About a third of them aren't in school. Why? Because they fear their child catching this and dying, so they stay at home. School districts uh, enacted uh, mask laws. They're coming back. They're not making them get the shot. That's a whole other thing. They're telling you, you got to wear a mask to reduce death. What? Who can find something wrong with that? Uh, uh, Texan, you got to tell me to wear a mask. Yeah, they can. Your kids in school, they need to wear masks for not for them. It's not a violation of their rights. It's to keep you from violating somebody else's rights. Anyway, 
profit, someone's saying. That's what it's about, profit. It's happened before. I'm sure it'll happen again. We must be ever watchful. Like Peanut in the window over here. He's got his little perch in the window where he can look out. I built him this set of steps where he can look down the street looking for evildoers. He's always on guard. We must be ever vigilant. Speak the truth whenever it suits you. We need a lot of that down here. Sorry I'm speaking a lot about Texas today. I know most of you don't care about Texas, but what's going on here is going on everywhere. He's not from here. Anyway, class is coming up. Everything is a wonderment. I'm in a state of awe at most of the things I see. I'll give you a good wonderment. I'm not going to tell you what actually happened, but my wife wakes up this morning. I'm awake. She says, I had a dream last night. She doesn't get these kind of dreams. I get them all the time. She said, I got a dream last night. And she told me the word she heard. And we were scrambling around on the computer trying to figure out what it is and where it leads. And, and should we do that? Yeah, we should do that. So it's uh, an awakening of something we didn't know. Uh, that's a wonderment. She was hanging. She was perfectly normal till she started hanging around with me. She knew what she was getting into. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.